wardrobe consultant Rushda Bihardin speaks to the modest chapter about decluttering, how we end up with clutter and how to start decluttering. The wardrobe consulting grew out of the, the blog. There were quite a few individuals who posed questions to me on styling, who wanted to know how to dress modestly while still maintaining um, style, elegance and class, um, and more importantly, to feel confident. So um, I encountered a lot more as the blog grew. There were a lot of questions and I then decided to start it as a service to my readers. There are, so, there are quite a few reasons we would end up with a lot of clutter in our wardrobe specifically and um, it would be career changes because if you go from an operational job to an executive job it could be um, lifestyle changes, pregnancy and that kind of thing, um, weight loss um, as well so um, or weight gain so some people tend to hold on to pieces in the hope that they're going to go into them again with weight loss, I mean, that's an amazing thing. You then have to buy a whole new wardrobe. Uh, when we start the process, we empty the entire wardrobe and um, we then work through all the pieces that you have in your wardrobe. And um, I will generally ask a question around every piece. When last have you worn it? How often do you wear it? Do you love it? Does it have sentimental value? Um, if you wear them, they obviously go back into your wardrobe. If you wear them occasionally, we talk around it. Um, if you don't wear it, it's either donate, repurpose, um, or sell. The motto that I live by is have nothing in your wardrobe that you do not use, do not love, and don't have the space to store. The Modest Chapter is recorded at the Fire and Ice Hotel, Cape Town, South Africa. This is a Royal Tea production.